Meanwhile, Dayton police hope to learn next week if it will receive city approval to use the Fuses camera system. The department has been meeting with community members to explain how the technology works and why it's important. But some people are pushing back. Two News reporter Kajasia Hawkins spoke with an organization that is questioning DPD. She joins us live in the studio. Kajasia. City commissioners could vote on this system soon, but the group I spoke with says people should question police's intentions before it's even approved. Based on the materials that were released by the police department, you know, the information they provide creates as many questions as it does answers. One thing the American Civil Liberties Union is questioning, what exactly an incident will be defined as and why police want to use this technology in the first place, warning that police could potentially watch too closely in particular neighborhoods. It starts with kind of the basic question, right? Why do you want this network? And upon what independent sources makes you think that this will actually help advance the cause you're doing it. I noticed that in some of their reports that they've released in advance of this hearing, they quote positive outcomes using these, but they're basically being taken from the website of the company that's selling it. And chances are those incidents are going to be occurring in your black and brown and your poor neighborhoods in Dayton. And Dayton Police Major Jimmy Mullins insists the technology will not be used to spy on people, rather to help support the community in response to more serious crimes. In, in, in most cases, it's going to be violent crime incidents, um, robberies, uh, felonious assaults, um, homicides, if that, that is one, um, but also uh, missing uh, juveniles, missing adults. Um, will activate the system to, um, so it'd be those type of incidents and those will all be able to be selected by the person who has the camera. It's not surveillance. We, we don't want to have time to look at it uh, as surveillance and um, we don't have the capability. It doesn't give us the capability. Now, there will be an open forum February 15th when they attempt to get approval from city commissioners. Live in the studio, Kajasia Hawkins, 2 News.